Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Mercedes and this is the Frugal Life with Mercedes. Today I am sitting in the backyard. Um, I know a lot of people are talking about it being spooky season, but where I live it was nearly 100 degrees today. Um, it is late in the afternoon. I am sitting under a big tree. I was reading. Um, I decided to film in the back you are going to hear some traffic we are not far from the highway where i live um but i'm used to it by now because we've lived here for so many years but that's what you guys are hearing so today i want to talk about um when i lived on fifteen thousand dollars a year so back in the day I have been, I mean, well, to start, I've been a care provider for a, for a long time. That's basically all I've ever done. And when I was 21, I got my very first apartment. Before that, I had lived in the dorms at college. So I'm 21, I'm living in an apartment, and I'm making $15,000 a year. My Rent at the time was $500. I was able to get into a low income um, housing. So it was based off your income. So I, pay, I paid $500 a month and I didn't have to pay um, for what I didn't have to pay for water. I only had to pay for electric. So I had a student loan, which was not very much, but I still had to pay on that every month. And I had a car payment at the time. I had a little um, used Mazda that I got for $5,000. And I think my monthly payment was like $120 for this little Mazda. And that was a wonderful, wonderful car. It was so reliable. Um, and I just, I loved that car. And I was really blessed to have, to have had it. And at the time, I was on my parents' health insurance. So I was able to keep my um, my expenses pretty low, luckily, but I was only bringing in, depending upon the month and how much, how many hours I was working, because I was working full time, I was only bringing in $900 to $1,200 a month, and that's not a lot of money. It's really not. Um, now granted, I did not and do not have children um, and I do not and did not have pets um, so I was just caring for myself but after you factor in rent my car payment my student loan payment and paying for electric I was left with like six hundred dollars a month to buy groceries buy gas um, take care of myself which was not very much and I did that for a couple of years. Um, I actually never had internet at that apartment. So I've never paid for internet. I, when I lived with my parents and I do live with my parents now, you know, they paid for the internet because it's their house. When I lived at college, the college provides internet. And then when I had my own apartment, I've never had internet in my name. I just did not have internet um, because internet was going to be like $100 a month. And you're talking, okay, when was that? 10 years ago, something like that. Because um, I was 21, so I'm 33, so 12 years ago. And even back then, internet was $100, and that was the cheapest internet provided um you know i don't even know what internet rates are now um because i've heard people say that they get internet for much cheaper than that so that was just an expense that i just couldn't justify so i used internet on my cell phone and smartphones weren't exactly what they are now um there were smartphones, but it's not, it's definitely not like now. Um, so I, if I had to use internet, I did that. Um, I was also going to a community college at the time. So I would do my homework, um, at, in the library at the community college. And also 
for entertainment, I would go to the library and rent uh, DVDs. And I also, I don't know if Netflix still does this, but back in the day, Netflix started off with um, just renting DVDs and they would send them to your house. They probably still do that, I don't know. Um, but I paid the monthly subscription to have them send me DVDs and they would come in the mail and I would watch them and send them back and the next thing on my queue would come and that was really my only form of enter entertainment. I had a TV and a DVD player and no internet. Um, and I, um, I did, I did file the paperwork to be approved for food stamps, but the state of Virginia said that I made too much money because I didn't have any dependents. And at the time I never looked into like food banks or anything like that, but they definitely would have helped me back then. Um, I just never, I never really looked into it. And um, even though things were really tight, I. I had this mindset that it was like, well, I don't really need that. I'm doing okay. But in reality, it really would have helped. I never went hungry. Um, I always was able to pay my bills, but I just, I didn't have much of a social life. Every couple of months I would go and um, go to like this club place that was in downtown um, with a girlfriend of mine. I think it was like $5 cover charge and um, I would drink. Um, like the free water because I would be DD and I'm not much of a drinker anyway. And even if I was, drinking was not in the budget. And then um, I, I had a boyfriend. So shortly after I started living there, I got a boyfriend and um, he actually lost his job and I let him move in with me. And that was completely my idea and not one of my brightest ideas for sure. But I let my boyfriend move in with me and um, he looked for a job, but he was unemployed for about two or three months. So, um, you know, my money went to to us. And then later on, you know, after that, after a couple of months, he did get a job and he was able to contribute. And my rent did go up because then they were basing it off his income and my income. So my rent did go up, but I ended up paying less um, rent because him and I split the rent. Um, the electricity went up a little bit, but him and I split that and it, and it was, it was nice. And it was nice to, you know, um, to, to, to have that experience where it was the sharing of the bills and all that. And I know some people are not into people living together and splitting the bills and all that kind of stuff. But this is just me more telling you um, what it was like when I lived on $15,000 a year. I got very, very blessed where I never had any medical um, emergencies come up. I wasn't in a, I never had anything go wrong with my Mazda, you know, except for just like oil changes and new tires. Um, that was a time of my life that even though I didn't have a lot of money, nothing really super eventful happened and I just really enjoyed my little apartment. It was not a studio apartment, but it was... It was very, very small. Um, it was, you walked up these stairs and there was a little living room and a little kitchen and a little bathroom and like a little hallway and there was my bedroom. Um, but there was a walk-in closet in the living room. So there was a door in the living room and when you opened it, it was a huge closet. And then when you went into the bedroom, there was a huge closet in there. It was just the cutest little apartment ever. and. I miss that little apartment so much. Um, it was probably one of the best places I ever lived because it was so tiny and manageable and I just really enjoyed it. So when I tell you guys that I'm accustomed to living with less, that's why. You know, it was like, it was really important. And I could have lived with my parents back then too, but I, for me, I really was ready for my independence and I was really ready to like, jump head first and times were different now than now even the low-income apartments I don't know I know people that live in low-income apartments and you can't get even a low-income apartment for $500 a month in most cases 
Um, and I make more money than that now, um, but I'm still considered low income. And, but it's just, it's, it's funny for me to remember what that was like. Um, because I, I don't remember it being all that bad. You know, I, I didn't go out to eat, which I don't go out to eat all that much now. Um, I didn't buy a lot of extras and, you know, and I didn't have internet, but I was okay. I was okay. Um, but yeah, so that was what it was like when I lived on uh, $15,000 a year. And I did that for a lot of years. And I survived and I was okay. And I gotta tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that I make a little bit more money now because also back then, which I've shared, I wasn't really able to save any money because how do you? Um, but then I started paying off the student loans and I paid off the car and, you know, and then I ended up where I am now, which, you know, I'm in an awesome place. And, and I was in an awesome place back then because it's mindset too, you know, like you can look at the negatives and be like, man, I'm, I only brought in $900 this month. Um, but I made sure that my bills did not exceed what I was bringing in because I was very, very aware of that. Could I have gotten internet and I would have survived? Woo! That is, get out of here. That was a big beat. Um, I could have gotten internet. But, that bee is making me nervous. I could have gotten internet, but, oh, I'm trying to get out of here. <laughs> Sorry, guys. That thing was, like, huge, and he's flying around my truck, too. Okay, so I will just end that there, but I could have gotten internet, and I would have, it wouldn't have made or break breaked me, but I didn't want to take that chance to exceed my expenses. So just some encouragement and kind of a backstory I thought you guys might enjoy. So please consider subscribing to my channel if you did not know. I, if you did not know, I have an Instagram, The Frugal Life of Mercedes. And until next time, guys, bye.